students welcome back to your channel brilliant minds by neeru so friends in this video i'm going to teach you practically how you can insert images in libre office writer okay should we start it it's very interesting topic students and new also in this year only the syllabus has been changed instead of open office you will be using libre office writer and calc and everything okay so let us start with it so there are different ways to insert images in your document writer document number 1 you can go to insert you will find here image and below that you find here media also so these can be used and if you go to view in this go to toolbars but in this you have to add two options like drawing and drawing object properties i'll tell you about each one of these one by one so we'll start with insert then click on image see on the image when you click on it this dialog box is open for you from this you can select any image of your choice suppose you in uh, you choose this image this one okay just click on it once and click on open see the image has been inserted in your document you can resize it आप उसको छोटा भी कर सकते हैं यू कैन इंक्रीज इट साइज एज वेल ओके सो आई कैन मेक सम चेंजेस ऑल्सो आई शो यू हाउ यू कैन मेक चेंजेस इन इट वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू जस्ट क्लिक ऑन इट वंस विद राइट राइट बटन ऑफ योर माउस सो हेयर द कॉन्टेक्स मेन्यू इज ओपन फॉर यू द पॉप अप मेन्यू फ्रॉम दिस यू फाइंड सो मेनी ऑप्शन हेयर ओके लाइक rotating or flipping you want to insert caption the properties are there if you click on properties thus window this dialog box is open for you in which you see the position and size different options are there width height and everything then options wrap where do you want the image to be inserted in context with regarding the text you have inserted in the document then hyperlink making the hyperlink also rotation or screen you can say and then cropping the image borders area transparency everything is there okay you can make the changes from here or just right click on it and suppose i want to show you so you want to rotate the image just click on it different options are there rotate 90 degree right 90 degree left rotate 180 vertically horizontally i'll show you for this picture particularly you can uh use this vertically it doesn't suit for this picture but you can rotate horizontally yes one second i'll bring it back to the original position then you can rotate it horizontally then vertically also and if you want to change its size that is also po possible from here and see here the selection handles are there using this also you can make some changes students see here it is here then if you want to give some caption also for this picture you can give the caption also like a boy reading or studying whatever you want to write okay and before caption you want this thing the figure word or not suppose you don't change and you don't make any changes in it then click on okay see here figure one colon boy reading but you don't want these things then you can change the caption also you have to delete this figure one and the colon from it where you had given the picture caption so in the right click you can arrange you can dip. suppose wrap because i have not and uh, entered any text here students but it is regarding the location of the image with the text you want where do you want it to be shown in the background or before the text or parallel different styles are here okay you can crop the picture also i'll show you how you can crop it just for the making for making the changes in the picture you have to first select the picture okay now you can crop also see here the selection handles are changed here so from this like this you can crop the picture see here the symbol here okay first make the selection then make any changes in the picture this was through the insert and 
image okay but now i'm showing you the another uh, next option another option that is through media go to insert then click on media here you find three option gallery scan and audio here on the right side you face you see in the sidebar there are few icons the third one this one this is for inserting the image gallery okay or you can go directly here go to media click on first option that is the gallery it is displayed in front of you okay from here see here students there are nine categories i show you there are nine categories like arrows bullets diagrams sounds shapes network and so many things are there okay so from here if you select any theme suppose you select this theme in this you find so many options here you can select any one of your choice i am going to delete that students okay for you so that you can insert and you can learn other diagrams to be inserted see here diagrams flow chart is also there see suppose i take the diagrams here okay so how you can insert it just click it you can you can select it and you can drag it here i'm just doing it undo undoing it now or you can insert it or copy it just click on insert see it is here insert again it is inserted for you you can copy come here and then paste it it is done for you and same procedure you can follow you can resize it you can uh, do modifications of your choice see here ungroup is also there like this is a group the four if you want the four text boxes to be shown differently separately you can click on the ungroup option arrange is also there flip is also there flip vertically see here you want to flip it horizontally even then it is done for you and then position and size rotation is also done for to you see here the symbols have been changed see this this is skewing okay you can you can change the rotate you can change the rotation okay or i you can use the right click from this pop up menu and the, then you have these text attributes are also there see see here no effect is there if you want to make it blink it's very interesting click on blink click okay so it has started blinking it's very interesting then again you want to change some or alternate text is also there you want to make some changes you can change its properties from here ungrouping they are already shown to you then arrange to bring the image in front of some other image okay bring to front or forward or back one or send to back so many options are there text attributes some more are there like scroll through it's also very interesting click okay see it is scrolling okay so these are the properties i was showing you about this thing there are many different shapes also you can group and ungroup also okay so i'm going to ungroup it so see the all the parts are separate you can use them separately also so many very interesting shapes are there and the last is very interesting this one is also there see here you can use this one and you can make the changes also see the color is here blue you can change its color like gradient is here next hatching is there in hatching also in grading also some more options are there like this so here in grading you want to make it like green check so it is there very interesting you want to make it red check fine now next i want to show you bitmap pattern is there in pattern also many colors designs are there so for shapes it is not fixed like you and you have to use this shape only colors you can make the changes so many changes you can make like this okay increase decrease making color changes in the color also and some edit points are also there rotating is also there see here position and size i have already shown you and rotation also so new shown you arranging bringing in front or back like this you can make the changing add a text box so many options are there so it's very interesting to use this edit mode uh, so see you can change the shape also like this now i clicked on this thing toggle point edit mode okay so from here you can change its shape also like this fine so it is all done for you with i use the 
insert media and gallery okay and one more thing in the gallery at the bottom you can see here see here so what are these these are see here this is the view different views icon views and next is detailed view okay icon view and detail view and you can insert new also new file type also in the gallery okay now come to the next option go to media again and scan is also there you have to select the source and you can insert your scan picture in it you can you have to one more thing you have to remember here you the scanner should be there the scan picture should be there the scanner short software should be there installed in your system in your laptop okay only then you can insert the scanned images in the libre writer document next option is the third one is audio or video yes this can also be inserted i'll show you how to do suppose this is a video this is a, a audio file so i'll just double click it so it will be inserted see here it is inserted this time this kind of symbol is shown to you okay and as soon as this is inserted in your document students at below at the bottom you can see this play bar here if you click on okay you are clicking on this play button you can pause it also you can stop also okay in this way you can insert the sound file or the audio file in it you can make it size small also if you don't want to show it like this and on the right click you can see the position you can change you can give name also you can give alternate text also insert caption also i've shown you all these things already shown you okay in the same way you can insert you can insert a uh, video also audio or video go there again so if you have the video files also you can insert the video in the same the procedure is same students okay i'm just cancelling it now the last thing i want to tell you how you can insert drawing you can draw yourself also how go to view menu then toolbars option is there in this under this you find two options drawing and drawing object properties these both should be checked for you go there once again toolbars drawing and drawing object properties so here at the bottom you see this is the drawing bar for you okay and the related properties are shown here okay if you select some suppose you want to insert this smiley okay fine now again i just i show you you can change its color okay and the colors are here different colors are there you want to change none you want to color it simple colors are plain simple colors are there like this you can increase its size and everything so it's very interesting students uh, some more options are there see here stars and banners different shapes are there basic shapes are there lines are there you can double click and insert them in your text boxes also there you can insert in your libre document like this font font work also is there then flow charts are also there so these are things you can make changes according to your requirement okay i hope you must have enjoyed learning so keep watching my videos i have already made four videos on this topic on libre office writer all practical students it's very easy to learn practically so keep practic practicing keep enjoying all the best students see you very soon in the next video